Howdy there! Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is now we want to put text on the screen. So right now, this is a pretty silly game because the user's playing it, they're playing it, they're having a really good time, and all of a sudden, what just happened? You know, they don't even really know what even happened to them. Before they know it, the game is shut down. So that's not really the best way to go about it. We want to have some sort of communication with our user. Now, a lot of times you're going to have like menu screens too, like before they start the game you'll have a menu screen and maybe when they level up there's a menu screen, maybe there's a pause screen, all kinds of stuff. Sometimes you really need to use language to communicate with your user, or gamer in this case. So what we want to do is we want to be able to put some text on the screen. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, I always think it's a good idea to just go ahead and make a function that communicates with the user in whatever way. So if you're, it doesn't matter if you're making Windows in T Cantor or you're making games in Pygame, if you want to send a message to the user, a lot of times I think it's best to have like a function that just you pass some text through and it displays that text to the user. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. So we'll come down here and I'm going to say define. We're going to call this function message underscore to underscore screen. And I'll just leave it that way for now. And then the parameters that we're going to pass through here are message, so MSG short for message, and then the color of that message. What color is that message? So if it's like you died or a very bad message, maybe we want to display that in red. If it's a positive message, maybe in green or blue or something like that. Um, and then if it's just like some inf basic information, maybe black or something like that. So um, that's why we want to have both the message and the color. And we have message there just so every time we don't have to specify like a new message or a new function per message or something. So message to screen, message, color, and what do we want this function to actually do? So first this function is going to define screen underscore text and that's going to be just the text that we want to eventually put on the screen. And this is going to be font dot render and we're going to render um, message true for anti-aliasing and then color. So what do we want to do? We want to render that whatever the message happens to be just no true for now and then what color do we want that to be? Now font does not exist. We don't have a font object and we have not initialized a font object or anything like that. So we need a font object. So to get our font object we're just going to say font equals Pygame dot font dot and then we're just gonna use sys font for now. We'll we'll talk about aesthetics like way down the road, um, but for now we'll just use sys font um, and we'll say none and then 25 and um, for now just focus on the 25. That is going to be the size. So this is font size 25. Now later on as well we'll define multiple fonts this would be a small font as you'll see very soon 25 maybe sounds large um, but for a game that's kind of small font so uh, message to screen now we've got that done so this will return a font object basically to the variable name font um, so we've done that we've rendered the font now just like everything else though we have not actually like put that font anywhere we've only rendered the idea of the font right so now we actually have to put that font somewhere and we're going to say game display dot blit and this is basically putting the font onto our game display screen underscore text and then we have to say where do we want that like where do we want the x and y of this text to be and in my opinion, the best way to do this is you do the same thing we did for like this x and y, right? Game width divided by two and game height divided by two. So, or what was it? Or display width. So display width divided by two, comma display height divided by two. And these are in brackets. Okay, so this is like a, a Python list here. So. Uh, so that's how we, we blip that to the screen and that's basically all we have to do um, there. Then all this has done so far is it's just defined the function and defined the f and, and created this font object. Now we want to use it. So we have game exit equals true. Um, again we'll have a better game exit sequence soon enough but for now we're kind of just using game exit and exiting this while loop 
and then exiting the game. So probably the best place to, to put this this message here would be right here before the quit, because we've quit, right? So game exit equals true, sends them here. So now we should at least notify the user as to like, hey, by the way, you lose, you suck, and you we're just going to shut down the game on you because you just are not good. So we're going to do that here. So we're going to say message underscore to underscore screen. So we're referencing this uh, function we made right up here. And so message to screen. And the message to the screen we want to send. So the actual message is just you lose. And we're going to do this in red. I believe we did define red a long time ago, but let me make sure. Yes, so we do have red. Back to the bottom. You lose, red, done. Now, what do we need uh, to do besides just this? Uh, first of all, this message will only display for like a millisecond before the quit is called. So it would never actually see that message if there wasn't some sort of sleeping function or call to action from the user. So eventually, we'll have a call to action from the user, like you lose, and then quit or play again, right? That's the way it usually is. Uh, so we'll eventually get there, but for now, we just have you lose, and we're shutting down the game. So what we want to do for now, we'll just make a sort of pseudo forced wait here. So we're going to import time, and then we'll come down to the very bottom again, and we'll just put time.sleep two seconds. Again, this isn't really inherent to Pygame. Generally, you will never use time.sleep in Pygame. If you're using time.sleep in Pygame, you're either trying to force the user to wait for X amount of time. Um, it's a very hacky thing to add into Pygame. I do it all the time. I add in sleeps here and there. But in general, it's probably a bad idea anytime you're using sleep. But for now, I just want to show you guys the text coming on the screen and not waste too much time making like some sort of menu that I, we're not going to use. So we'll just use uh, sleep for now. So the question I'm going to ask you guys is, is this going to show up on the screen? So we do this, and we run over, and we see we wait a couple of seconds, and that exits. Why didn't it show up on the screen? Same answer as always, we don't have a pygame.display.update. So we do have to add that. And the reason why I wanted to wait before we added that is so people don't get too confused with blit. So first we rendered the font, then we have to blit the font, then we have to display update. And that will show us the font. So now we'll run this, move this over here, and get off the screen. And now we see our nice little uh, you lose statement. So uh, that's that. So um, go outside. That's a better one. I like that one. <laughs> uh, I should go outside. <laughs> anyway, that's it with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching.